What's up, everybody? My name is Alexander Nez, and you are watching another episode of The Drop Television. We have a special episode for you tonight. We are here at the World of Wonder Gallery in Hollywood, California for Sham Ibrahim, a.k.a. the next Andy Warhol. This place hasn't been reopened in five years. Everyone's excited. The energy's high. Let's check it out. <laughs> Does music inspire you when you're creating your art? And if so, who are some of the artists that you listen to while you're creating? All right, I like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. I, I am not kidding, I'm a gangster rap girl. You would not believe it, but that is the kind of music I like and I have it all memorized. Don't make me prove it, okay? I love their music because it was like so authentic. It was like so real. You know what I mean? So like what they were talking about was a, a reality that I didn't know. So I became fascinated with that. When did you get your start with all this? Oh boy, well, I think I started drawing as soon as I could hold a crayon. <laughs> I think that was the first time I started drawing. I mean, really, I've, been, I've always been interested in art and I've always uh, loved it. And I, I didn't really get my break until I moved to Hollywood, but I started as an actor. Like I was on movie sets and then I would work with some sort of celebrity I liked and I would stalk them on set and give them a portrait. Got to be like, I started meeting people and people responded really well, you know what I mean? Like the celebrities and the Hollywood community. What brings you out here tonight? Well, Sham, good buddy of mine since the Party Monster days, and you know he painted a painting of me. Don't look at me. I'm here. That's fantastic. Plus, I was a resident curator at World of Wonder back in the day. What makes uh, Sham Ibrahim such a talented, one of the most popular artists in pop well, culture right now? I mean, you know, I don't come out too often. I mean, and I come out because he's so fabulous. I mean, look at my father's an artist, so I grew up, you know, really loving art, and I just think that. You know, he's like the Andy Warhol of, of our time. He takes pop culture and he sort of spins it around in his head. He puts it in a spin cycle and then regurgitates it out and, and it's just gorgeous. I feel like he's the 21st century Andy Warhol. You know what? He's crushing it. His vision of being able to take, uh, you know, celebrity and mix, master it with like, just crazy, is it's just fascinating. Well, I would have to say what makes Sham the most popular is his subject matter. Um, he obviously is very in touch with not just pop, but kind of like the underbelly of pop. No, he's fun, and like everybody likes him, and you know he he picks the right subjects clearly, and does a great job with them. If you could do a portrait of any EDM DJ producer out there, who would it be? I would say Nervo, just because. Well, not just because. I mean, I w I'll say them and use it as an opportunity to remind people that like when you look at the lineup for EDC, it's almost all guys. That's lame. I know there are really talented female DJ producers out there, so we gotta get more talented, fabulous women out there. Hey, this is Perez Hilton, you're watching The Drop TV.